Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to the first day of the summer sale or extended SAS. I went to Marketplace 99 straight in the morning, right when they opened, and I was on the hunt for the white tea and sage and pineapple mango soap, and I was able to find it. I did not show in the video because I already placed them all in my basket, and yeah, I should have showed them first in the video and then placed them in the basket, but I guess I was just really, really eager to, to uh, claim them. And so I got all five, and that was my goal for today, was to get those soaps. Here's the 75% off section. We have the pineapple. The 4th of July star candle holder is finally 75% off at Marketplace, at least. Here are the candles that they had. They had quite a few. Um, not really the selection from online, but I was really happy to see those scents in the store. So this walkthrough is kind of um, all over the place because I didn't really film enough at Marketplace when I first went. I was just on a shopping mission, I suppose. Then I went to Crossroads and I still didn't film enough in there. So I ended up going back to uh, Marketplace and Crossroads just to film more. And I did get more items at Marketplace because they had definitely had uh, a pretty nice selection However, Crossroads had these hand sanitizer sprays, which I was loving, but they only had one candles, one scent for the three-wick candles, and it was the one I was not interested in. I forget the name of it. It was like desert something, but they had sweet tea lemonade gel soaps, which I, I really like the gel soaps, and sweet tea lemonade is a really fantastic scent. Oh, here's the candle. Oh, oh wow. I went really fast by that, so I do apologize. I guess I really didn't like it, but I had a look online and it's sunset desert yeah that one's not for me but i'm sure people love that uh, we all have different noses of course here are some of the usual scents that we've definitely been seeing they are still sticking around still trying to get sold and yeah every store had the wild sand and endless sea display up in front wild sand is definitely my favorite out of the two however i don't think i'll be buying anything from these two scents at least not now. Probably uh, when next sass rolls around, I'll get some uh, wild sand. The kennel is pretty nice, so maybe if there's a really good kennel sale, I might get that one. However, those candles are $29.95 now, so $30, and the lid isn't even super amazing. The packaging looks pretty normal. These are definitely increasing in price, and by next year, these candles will probably be like 32 or 35. I don't know. They are they are getting pretty crazy. And here's the Oasis uh, display. Now, the Patchouli Rosewood and Cactus Blossom candles are very, very similar. I'm, I'm surprised that they made those two super similar, at least in terms of color scheme. And I'm panning out, going back in, looking at the soaps. Wildflower Fields. And the Mojave Plum, that's apparently a repackage of a plum scent that we got last year. I wish it was a new plum, to be honest. I was really excited to see this, but, you know, it was a letdown when I uh, found out that it was a repackage. I probably already had that. And I'm looking at some of the other soaps now. I'm panning over to this side, the Sunwash Citrus. Citrus, the yellow bottle is nice. It makes sense. Cactus Blossom. It's kind of hard to read the names on these soaps. Okay, this is a little better. Denim and Daisies. And uh, Terracotta Canyon, I believe. And here we have the Firecracker Pop. I'm still surprised that Firecracker Pop, the three-wood candle, didn't go down. I'm, I feel kind of... I feel really bad that I mentioned that in my video yesterday. I hope I didn't get anyone's hopes up. Actually, I got my hopes up. That's for sure. So hopefully that candle does go down eventually. And here we are on the other side of the Wild Sand and Endless Sea display. So we have the Underwater Oasis. I really love the color of that faceted bottle. It's like a, I don't know, a light blue. It's like the clearest water. That's the kind of blue that it reminds me of. And how it glistens with the sunlight behind it is really nice. Midnight Blue Citrus is my favorite on this entire table, I believe. Or maybe Wild Sand will be tied with it. Actually, no, I think, yeah, blue, Midnight Blue Citrus is my favorite. And the darker blue of this faceted bottle is beautiful. 
and Cactus Blossom is not really my favorite scent for body care, but the pink is um, for the packaging is really nice. And there's the Fine Fragrance Mist and the candles. If you're looking for Cactus Blossom, I'm going to push you to go to Creekside Center because although I haven't been in the past couple of days, I'm guessing they still have plenty of those candles for $6. Sensual Amber, um, that scent is not really one that I gravitate towards, so I'll be skipping that. And I just want to take a look at the wall display. I always like to see what the walls look like, and I love seeing all the product fill up the shelves. It makes the store look more complete, and definitely after SAS, some of the stores have been looking pretty empty. And I believe this is my second time at Marketplace. I wanted to film some more, and I was thinking about the Golden Honeycomb candle while I was at market, at, while I was at uh, Crossroads, and I just had to go back and get it because I thought it smelled pretty nice, really nice, and yeah, I wanted to try it out for six dollars. Why not? Um, here are some of the soaps, fine fragrance mist. There's the bunny bag, and I'm taking a look at the. Uh, are these candles still ten dollars off? I, I don't know, but. I also read on Instagram that these candles were going to go to 75% off too, at least under the sun. Not the Sweet Tea and Lemonade, but all the others. So, I don't know. Something happened, and I was also told the Mother's Day candles were going to go down, including uh, also the Firecracker Pop. None of those went down, but other candles went down to 75% off. So, I guess in my video yesterday, I was kind of right that we would see markdowns today. I'm just wondering if this collection will go down pretty soon because that's what I read on um, instant Instagram. I was going to say Instagram, Instagram that the Under the Sun and those candles were going to go down. I'm really hoping those candles go down in the next few days. I'm thinking they will, but who knows? However, online online shoppers got a finally they got a great um, great deals on multiple items. Tons of candles went down to 75% off, which was awesome to see. Uh, this was my second time at Crossroads. This was, I think, at 7 o'clock, so they were almost closing. They had three graphites there. They still had this sweet strawberry scoop. Pastel skies will always be there. And this collection, I don't understand the soaps and the candles because for leather and brandy and coffee and whiskey, they match the soaps or the candles. But... The cypress and cedarwood does not match that soap. That soap is totally different. And the red cherry and oud, dark amber and oud, not the same. And this is the most disappointing because I love apple and charcoal. But they should have given us an apple and charcoal soap. That would have been awesome. So that was my walkthrough. And now this is my haul. So we're going to start with this bag. And this is my soap bag. I did get seven soaps at the Marketplace 99 store. And I got two from Laguna Crossroads. And let's begin. So I'll start with what I got at Laguna Crossroads. I got Sweet Tea Lemonade. I'm loving the yellow. I'm loving the blue label. I think they go really well together. I, I think the uh, foaming hand soap is the most popular one out of the two, or just in general. But I like the gel soaps. I think they're nice. I don't think they last as long, but it was there, so I had to get it. So Sweet Tea and Lemonade. And the second one. The rest of the soaps I got at Marketplace. First one I got was Firecracker Fizz. I don't know why they don't call it Firecracker Pop, but I like the name, Firecracker Fizz. We have the fireworks burst everywhere, the stars, very patriotic. I'm loving the colors and the. it almost looks like the fireworks are, are in motion because they are bursting out. So I'm loving um, the whole aesthetic of this soap label. And they had two at the store, but I just wanted to get one. I also picked up Radiant Sky. Now, Radiant Sky is one of my favorite candles. The scent is the scent is so good. The notes are Rays of Sunshine, whatever that is, Golden Mango, and Juicy Lychee. I'm loving the squiggly lines there, and the colors in the back are kind of reminiscent of the candle. A rainbow effect going on, so it's beautiful, and I like the color of the liquid. It's, uh, I guess you can say a turquoise. So that's Radiant Sky. And now this is the soap that I knew uh, Marketplace had. Um, the evening before, or yesterday evening, I saw that they had this soap. And when I found out that 
soaps was going to go down to 75% off. I had to get to the store at 10 a.m. because I wanted to uh, stock up. And that, and I got the white tea and sage and pineapple mango. This is a soap that I've been really craving um, during the end of SAS. I got the gel soap and now that the foaming hand soap went down to 75% off, I had to get some. So Marketplace had five of these. I did not show them in my walkthrough because I got too excited and I put them in my basket and I forgot to show them. So, but they have five white tea and sage and pineapple mango soaps. And yeah, I got all of them. I know Arden had quite a few, but I didn't feel like going to Arden today. So I just stuck around Elk Grove. For some reason, I'm getting more of a tropical vibe from the gel soap. I think it's because we can see more of the liquid inside and I'm loving that turquoise. So these are the five white tea and sage and pineapple mango soaps that I got from Marketplace. And I'm, this was my goal for today. Yeah, this was my only goal for today and I'm glad I got them. And in this bag I got at Laguna Crossroads, just three little items. I love the Sunwash Citrus hand sanitizer, the spray. Uh, this is one of my favorites. So I had to get an another one. Actually, I got two more and I added a pineapple coconut. And these candles I got at Marketplace, they had um, a few candles available for 75% off. I was actually surprised that Firecracker Pop was not included. I was told it was going to be reduced yesterday, but I guess maybe there was some, some confusion, so. I do apologize for saying it was going to go down to 75% off because yeah, that didn't happen, so I, I am sorry. And the two candles that I got, and golden honeycomb, I totally skipped over this when it came out, and I don't even know if I smelled it, but I took a sniff today, and it smells really nice. We have notes of savory honey, cozy vanilla, and warm butterscotch. I definitely smell the butterscotch. That's the prominent note. It smells kind of light, but I'm okay with that because I, I don't really care for a huge amount of butterscotch in the air. I'm happy to try this out. I'm glad I got it. And for $6 and some change, I am happy that I have it. And the second candle that I got is, is Peach Bellini. I love the packaging. I can't wait to burn this because the flame is going to flicker inside and show through the pattern cut out in the label. It looks like a star that's really glowing and with little stars maybe further away. I think this is a Christmas candle. Am I wrong? Peach Bellini. We have notes of succulent white peach, sparkling Prosecco, and sweet orange. I feel like I mainly smell the orange, but I'm loving the scent. I've never burned peach bellini, so I'm hoping it's a, um, I hope it's one that really works well for me. And the next item I got is in this paper. I was totally enabled to buy this because the associate um, at Marketplace 99, her name is Kate. She's really, really nice. And she kind of um, enabled me to buy this. I already had this item. However, she told me that she has three and I should have two. So I bought this. Bought a second pineapple soap holder or in my opinion, a single wick pineapple holder. I love this and for $6 and some change, I think it's a great price. You can put a votive in there or a single wick Bath & Body Works candle or diptyque candle, any candle that has a similar size and shape to the single wick candles. I love how the glass is cut on this and yeah, it, sh it has a nice glow on the inside when you burn a single wick or votive in there. And there's my new blue vase that I got a few days ago. I think it was $8 and I'm using it as a candle holder. It almost acts like a hurricane maybe. The bottom there is curved down and there's really not a flat surface. So I put a candle lid on the bottom to create a flatter surface. And I put my Diptyque Bay candle in there and I'm really enjoying the ambiance that the flicker of the candle brings through the blue glass. I think it's really beautiful. So the flame really dances in inside this blue vase. And I think it's just, it's so calming. It's so peaceful. I think for the rest of tonight, I'm just going to enjoy watching the candle flicker in there. So that was my walkthrough and my haul for today. The first official summer sale started today. SAS has ended. However, you know, it's extended and I can't wait to see what else we find in stores. Maybe we'll be surprised. Maybe 
there will be more price drops. So we'll see. Or we can just all look forward to Halloween. Thank you for watching this video. I hope everyone's having fun shopping the summer sale. And I'll probably see you tomorrow. Bye.